the past year here at El Centro, we've worked hard to create opportunities for faculty and staff to strengthen our collective awareness of what equity means and how it's central to the college's ability to truly fulfill its mission. You know, we often pride ourselves on touting our college mission, changing lives through higher education. But in order to really accomplish this, we have to ask ourselves, whose lives are we aiming to change? Who are the communities that we serve? The Dallas Poverty Task Force recently reported that more than half of Dallas households make less than $50,000 per year and over 28% of households make less than $25,000 per year. Where a person lives within Dallas County also impacts access to education, jobs, and opportunities for advancement. With the southern, west, and northeast regions of the county being disproportionately negatively impacted. Within the next 35 years, Hispanics and Blacks are projected to make up 80% of the population here in Dallas, yet the Center for Public Policy's priorities reports that the average black worker in Dallas makes only 54 cents for every dollar that a white worker makes. Hispanic workers earn slightly higher at 58 cents for every dollar made by a white worker. Attainment of a college credential follows this same trend with white residents of Dallas County being five times more likely to have a bachelor's degree than a Hispanic resident, and nearly two and a half times more likely to have one than black residents. This is the community that we serve, and these are some of the reasons why it is critical that we commit and continuously recommit to a number of things here at El Centro. To the ongoing development of a college culture that is equity-minded, to understanding the holistic needs of the students and communities that we serve, to engage in an honest and open dialogue that questions and examines practices that threaten equitable access and success for all students. To shift in our focus from wishing for college-ready students to implementing practices that equip us to be a student-ready college and to valuing the success of underserved students. When we commit to these things, we give all of our students a chance to be successful. And when our students are successful, we do change lives. We strengthen families, we strengthen the economy, and we strengthen our community here in Dallas. In the STEM division, we are seeing a high drop and really low success rate, with only around 36% of our students passing our introductory biology classes. So the biology faculty decided to try a different approach. They adopted project-based learning, or PBL, to see if they could improve student success rates. They redesigned lectures and labs to be more hands-on, and they saw student passing rates increase to 50%, and that was a 14% increase over where they began. Another area where we've made progress with equity is lowering the cost of textbooks for our students. Over the last year, geology faculty worked to replace the textbook for Geology 1401 with OER, or Open Educational Resources, which are free. So students are now saving about $160 each by using the materials the geology faculty curated. If you think about that number in terms of the Dallas minimum wage, which is only $7.25, the student would have to work 22 hours at minimum wage to afford that $160 textbook. But now it's available for free on their first day of class. And Geology 1401 isn't the only course that's saving our students money. Courses across the college have replaced traditional textbooks with OER, and during the last school year alone, El Centro instructors have collectively saved students $190,000 in textbook costs by simply adopting no-cost or low-cost materials. That translates to over 26,000 hours of work at minimum wage in Dallas. The Academic Transfer Division, which is responsible for most of the liberal education core here at El Centro, approaches the problem of equity from the vantage point of that liberal arts mission, cultivating free human beings and engaged citizens who can decide for themselves what it means to be human and act effectively on those decisions in their personal, professional, and public lives. Our courses need to be structured in order to achieve this aim 
But too much of what we do is dictated by inherited and largely unexamined assumptions about what a college course looks like and about how students should be evaluated. And some of the practices which flow out of those assumptions are especially damaging to our students here at El Centro because of the family and work obligations they carry and because of the sometimes chaotic circumstances in which they live. What does this mean concretely? Strip away punitive attendance and late assignment policies. Engage students around fundamental questions. Help them begin, at least, to master the historic debate around those questions. And challenge them from the beginning to take and defend independent positions and to act on the positions they take. And finally, it's important to evaluate our students exclusively based on what they can do at the end of the semester, not on how many classes they've missed or how many days late they turn in their papers. Free human beings and engaged citizens, not rule followers and people pleasers. That should be our aim. You all know better than anyone that we enroll non-traditional students who tend to be older, low income, minority, and first generation college students. Our students may also be limited in college readiness skills and undecided about career and long-term goals. Over 87% of our students are part-time and they are often working at least one job while attending school. Our goal is not to attract different or better students. Our goal is to do a better job with the students we have. In order to do that, we must all find new ways to work with our students. We must identify their needs, challenge our own assumptions, and design strategies to help our students overcome barriers and succeed. As a college, we are already implementing strategies that are key to student success and bridging the divide. But as we begin this new academic year, I encourage you to think about what you can do as an individual, no matter what your role is at El Centro. Faculty, I encourage you to identify a barrier to the success of your students, especially your non-traditional students. This year, experiment with one way that you can help your students overcome that barrier. You may know that course completion is the smallest unit to success, but also the single most critical building block of student success. So what happens in every course at El Centro makes a huge difference. We must also deliberately redesign for equity, not just in academic areas, but in all areas of the college. Staff and administrators, I encourage you to look at your processes and services from the perspective of our underserved and part-time students. This year, choose one thing that you will redesign in order to serve those students better. Our goal is to close equity gaps and deliver quality educational experiences. And meeting that goal to serve all of our students will take all of us working together. As Karen said in our opening, and it is worth repeating, when we commit to these things, we give all of our students a chance to be successful. And when our students are successful, we do change lives. We strengthen families, we strengthen the economy, and we strengthen our community here in Dallas. Mm -hmm.